What's going on guys, Ryan here, and today we are going to talk about uh, the problem I'm having with my computer, and um, if you haven't really seen or saw any of my posts or videos in the last, I don't know, a couple weeks, you might not know that I've been having a hard time with like my computer overheating, and even overheating when it's not really doing anything too complicated, you know? I mean, I'm talking even Minecraft, uh, Valheim, uh, even like on YouTube or playing a game that's really not that intensive and sometimes even just sitting there on the desktop and yeah I went through every little bit of of, of like research into finding if I have a virus if you know like some person is Bitcoin mining on my computer I couldn't find anything literally nothing there was only two things that I found even though I just said I didn't find anything. They're just cookies. And I don't think they were the cause of the problem because it's still happening after I removed them. And I've, I've installed Norton. I've, I've checked and checked and checked, um, you know, the, my tasks that were going on in the task manager. I, I looked up different things that I didn't even know existed on my computer. I looked at all the programs. I looked at everything I installed. And I did not... Um, like restore from a backup on um, because I really didn't know when it started happening I know that any like from when I got my computer it didn't happen I do know though that my CPU like I, I basically this is my computer right here and this green light turns yellow when uh, the CPU goes from to a certain temperature now I adjusted the settings so it's green because it seemed like it was always yellow because that's kind of how it started out to be and I thought that was just normal. So I just changed it and oh, it just kind of flashed to yellow. I don't think you'll be able to see it. Yeah, right there, see? And, and then sometimes my fans would start going a lot faster so you can hear it. And when I was building this, I thought I do want like a water cooled system or a liquid cooled system. I don't want this like cheap little thing, radiator, whatever you want to call it with just one fan. I, I didn't really want that a heat sink. I, I don't know the, the technical terms to it, but it looks really cheap and it is. And it is upside down because I, I replaced it thinking that the thermal paste went bad or I didn't put enough. And I don't know if I put too much or not and it's still happening, right? I looked up videos. I, I'm, I'm trying to do every possible thing that I could do to fix the problem. And I looked it up and I did find out that some people had a problem with this CPU that I got with it just kind of running hot. And I'm thinking that it's just, it runs hot the way it is. And I can't um, help but think maybe I screwed up. Maybe I should have gotten a different CPU. Maybe I should have did more research. But honestly, I can't, I can't think of, you know, I really don't know what else to do besides getting another CPU. I can't return the one I have because the return period's way past its date. Same thing with this cooler. I can't return that. I'm gonna try to sell it maybe, but then I thought, okay, I need some more airflow in my case because I only have one, two, I think yeah, that's it. I think I just have two fans in there besides the one in my cooler and besides my GPU, which I believe has two. And so it's not getting that much airflow. And so I thought, okay, I know my dad has a computer that's really old and I know there's fans in it and he's not using it anymore. So I took it all apart and these are all the components. These, this is the power supply, fans. Um, we got like a GPU that's all cheap. We got a DVD drive. We got a couple different things in there. And the fans are really small. They're too small to fit in this case. Now, I don't really want to spend the money on more fans. I, I don't want to, I don't think, um, at least not yet. I, I'm thinking this will help. And when I'm say saying this, I'm talking about a different cooler for my CPU. I'm talking about a liquid cooled system. Now, I looked at some um, of them and I just kind of thought that this one looked the best. It's, I don't really like a bunch of LEDs in my case. I don't think it looks too great. I mean, some of them do when people have them, but I, that's like the only LEDs in my case besides that, um, that ROG symbol. And, and I, I really don't mind it and I don't have it flashing different colors because I want it to tell me what the temperature is. 
of the CPU. Now I also installed a program called uh, CPU ID HW monitor and without like screen recording my computer screen uh, hopefully I can there we go this is the CPU and right now the hottest it's gotten in the last um, I don't know 10 minutes is 61 degrees Fahrenheit that I found out to be a little high when it's not doing anything that's a little too high 49 43 the minimum uh, that's probably what it should be at idle, which that's kind of what it's doing. I know I have a program I'm open, but it's not intensive in any way. And I've seen it get up to 90 degrees Celsius, and that's way too hot. It only shut down once. And I think it was when I was playing Valheim by just not recording, just, just Valheim. And I was playing just to get a little ahead for the next video and it overheated and shut down. It literally shut down and I couldn't turn it back on and I was so scared. I was so worried that I fried it. So I, I took my computer over to the table, I took it apart, took, took the CPU out, looked at it, replaced the thermal paste, saw that a little bit of thermal paste got onto the pins and I don't know if that happened when I put the CPU in the first time and put the, the thermal paste on it and squeeze, you know, push the cooler down and it squeezed out into the pins or it's when I was taking it out and, and cleaning it. Either way, I think I got most of it off. It's still overheating. It's still running a little too hot to me and I don't know what else to do. And yeah, I could get some couple more fans to put in my case and that might help with the airflow and keeping the inside of it cool. So then the fan, the cooler itself works better. But I thought, you know what, I might shove a couple of these small fans, just maybe on two, maybe one screw, uh, and just running them. And they're, they're small fans, they're not going to make much noise. I don't know what kind of bearing they have or anything, but either way, um, I'm rambling on. I'm going to put this in my computer. Now it is a Corsair IQ H100i RGB Pro XT. And I looked, I looked it up, I looked up how to do it, I looked up a couple different things, and I've heard a couple other things about it. Um, I was worried about liquid cooling because it's liquid and it can get, it can like escape and get all over your electronics and that can just ruin your computer. I, I heard about that, I learned about it, and because I'm not making one myself, this one's already put together, it has already th everything already there, all I need to do is just shove it in there. And that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna bring you along, and honestly, I'm hoping it fixes the problem. And if it doesn't, if it still runs too hot and it can't cool it down, I'm gonna need to get more fans. And then, I mean, no matter what, I need more fans, and I would like to have a liquid cooler, right? That's kind of what I want. If it runs too hot still, even after all that I've done, I'm gonna get a new CPU. That's just the way it is. I can't. I don't know, and I do. I think I do have a warranty on the CPU itself for maybe a year or two. It hasn't been a year, and it hasn't been two, so I think I'm good. Um, I'll, you know, it's not going to take too long to save up some money to get some fans and get uh, a new CPU if I have to. And plus, I can probably return that by the warranty, maybe, or just sell it, you know, to someone who doesn't know. But either way. Um, I'm gonna do that right now, and I'm just keeping this thing up. I'm not gonna like turn on a game or anything. It's still at 61 as a max and 43 as a minimum, and it's running around 60 degrees, um, 55, 60, uh, just on idle. And I read that it should run from like 20 to 40 on idle, and then like 60 when it's uh, under load, and then like a highest it should get to is 80 under extreme load and that's what I got to with a small load and it's crazy to me that like this is one reason why I think that I may have should have I should have just gotten a pre-built system is because it all kind of works together it's already proven to work together and I don't know I I just think that I should have gotten a pre-built but the pre-built you know you spend three thousand dollars on a pre-built and you have a hundred dollar CPU in it or you might have a $300 CPU and then a $100 GPU. And for me, when you do a custom build like this, you get to pick and choose what you want to spend and how much you want to spend on those things. And so, I don't know. I kind of regret it, kind of don't. I'm glad though 
that I don't have my old PC because that thing couldn't run Minecraft even after upgrading it. So uh, it's just you have a problem with one, you get a new one. And this one's super expensive and you have another problem with it. Anyways, I'm going to get started working on uh, shutting down my computer, putting it over here and getting it. Um, I need to read the instructions first. And before I even tackle anything that deals with this, read the instructions, get to really figure out what to do, get it ready, and then put it in my computer, and I'm gonna show you how I did it and what I do, and I'm not telling you, I'm not sure, this isn't a tutorial or anything, I'm just showing you what I'm doing, so, anyways. I'm gonna let this camera charge a little bit more, shut it down, read the instructions like I just said, and then we'll get to it. All right, folks. Uh, <laughs> So I got my computer here. I took both sides off of it, the glass and the other like metal side. Uh, I, I have this kind of set up. I'm thinking I'm gonna put the camera like right here to show you what I'm doing. But I read through the directions, they're right over here. And it looks pretty simple. Now I was afraid at first that I needed to take the motherboard out, but I actually have this panel that I can take out right here to get to the mount. And this mount was not here before. I put that on there, I believe. I really believe I put that on there to mount this cooler that I got, okay? Now, I'm also going to check before I take anything out, I am going to check to see if I have the boxes, like this cooler box. I don't believe I do. I might. Because we're moving, and as you can see by the boxes, and in the next month, actually, uh, I've already been taking some loads of, of our stuff down to her parents' house, my wife's parents' house. Uh, I don't know if I took it down there. I don't think I did. But I'm going to go check right now, and then I'm just going to get started. The battery on this hasn't charged all the way, but I'll, that'll be fine. Ellie's going to be coming home from school, from her class, in about like 10 or 15 minutes. And then she has another one at 1, so hopefully I'll be done before then. So let me just get started. I, I don't think I'm going to do like a time-lapse setting. I might just speed it up or cut it in parts um, when I'm just fiddling around. But let's, let, let's just get started. All right, so good news. I do have the boxes. This is the cooler, if you guys were wondering. The Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo. Uh, it was pretty cheap. Uh, that should have been uh, a big factor in it. But anyways, so I did forget to mention that I did have my computer, this one, on the floor, and that's when it overheated. But it has never done that before uh, since I got it, except for that one time. And the way my desk was set up, it just didn't fit on it because I had my old computer at the same time. And long story short, I got rid of that computer. I actually sold it, <laughs> believe it or not. And um, so because of that, I redid my, my, uh, the layout on my desk and it fits. So anyways, uh, it still does, it is still overheats. And so that's kind of what I'm talking about right now is that the fact that I need to work on this. So. I think the first thing I'm gonna do, my cat's trying it in the stupid box. So the one thing I wanna know is if that uh, uh, back plate thing um, came from this, which I'm pretty sure it did. Yeah, it did. So now I have to take it off. Okay, I guess the first thing I need to do is to disconnect this, which, uh, my cat's still trying to get into that box, so I apologize. I don't really know what the best way of for this angle, but I'm guessing you kind of want to see all of it, or at least this much, you know? But, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna take that off. I think, uh, I think this might be big enough. Yeah, and I, you, you know what? I think I actually have to take the fan off too. I usually have this like laying on its side, honestly. I think I'm gonna try to do it like this, this time. And there we go. Okay. Take that off, it's a little dirty, but I did clean it. So one of the things that you may think about like how it overheated was the fact that it was dirty, but it really wasn't that dirty and I already cleaned it. Like none of them, none of the fans are that dirty, but maybe, I mean, I don't have any compressed air that I could, I mean, I could get it, but I don't have any of it. I mean, when you have animals and you're a human, <laughs> uh, dust is everywhere and a lot of it does come from skin and stuff. And one of the things, I actually got the cooler, the new one, 
a couple days ago, I just didn't do it right away because I wanted to uh, back up my computer just in case anything happens. I mean, you don't know. Something totally crazy could happen. But I didn't know for sure and it took all day and part of the night to back it up and it failed the first time. And I did it again and it failed. It actually said it failed the second time, but uh, I, but I do know that um, it did back up something. So as you can see, that's not really good contact of thermal paste. So I probably should have done a better job. And you might say that it probably would have been fine if you did a better job, but honestly, yeah, that kind of sucks. You know, I did a good job, I thought, but obviously I was wrong. But now uh, I have some isopropyl alcohol and one of my microfiber cloths. And this thing actually leaks like freaking everywhere. So I always gotta be careful. Okay. Okay. Let's just keep saying okay. <laughs> Clean it off as much as possible. Make sure there's none on the sides or anything. And there you go. And I need to tighten this all the way, which then leaks more out, which is fine. Now because that's done, I need to take, I think I need to take these off. But first I need to take that back plate off, this little panel. Uh, whoa. Oh, that's what came off, the, the, <laughs> the bit. Um, you know, let's just turn this around so you can see, so I'm not doing stuff that you can't see. Take this guy off, not that hard. I forgot kind of, oh, forgot kind of what it's called, a thumb screw, thumb, whatever. So this is the plate I'm talking about. That's like the mounting bracket. And so because there's these nuts on here, I need to take it off from this side, which I think they're just standoffs. Um, I don't, I really, oh, you know what? I do know how I got it off, right? Or on? Wasn't there a tool in here? Yeah, okay. I was gonna say, there's a tool that like attaches onto it so you can take it off. I just didn't know where it is, but it's this guy. It's like, uh, yeah, you put you put the, the uh, whatever, the bolt head or whatever, the standoff, whatever it's called in here. And then the other side, it's a uh, Phillips head. So you just do that. And I think I'm gonna do it from this side, but just kind of show you Where's the D? Oh, okay. Okay, that comes off. And I don't think I like, I don't think it was a sticker. It might've been a sticker. Um, this, this back plate has like a sticker on it, so I might have to peel it off. Okay, now these don't seem like they spin out. So I might just have to like take them off somehow. That does kind of seem like it's stuck on there, but I don't know if it's because the the uh, screws themselves are... I think I did stick it. I don't know, it's kind of moving freely. It just doesn't want to come out. So, <laughs> what am I supposed to do now? I think I may have done it. Okay. Weird, it's kind of stripped. What the heck? I think I know how to get them off, though. Like, that one can come off. Okay. And before I take this last one off, I'm also, I'll uh, let you come around and see what I'm doing without dropping everything. <laughs> if you can see, which I think you can, that I was taking these off because that's where the mounting bracket was. And they just wouldn't come. They would just like turn and turn. But I think there's a certain way it attaches in here that it prevents it from coming out. So I think I got it, and if I did, this one might just come right out, which it does. Okay, now I'll take this guy. And you know what? Um, I think from the very beginning, I thought that this wasn't uh, a sticker, but I don't think it is a sticker. I think it's just the way, like some sort of pad. I don't think it, 
I don't even remember if it says anything. But it feels a little sticky, so I don't know. Maybe it was. Maybe I was supposed to do that, but I don't see how that would have affected anything. Anyway, so I got that done. Now, I don't... Maybe I was supposed to leave that on. See, I don't know. Because it doesn't have any other mounting whatever, but I think this might... All right, so I got the cooler and I just took these brackets off the, the sides. Kind of forgot to press uh, record. And you just take these. And you put them on like this. Make sure they're secure. That one's a little, went in a little bit easier. And this is already pre-applied. Perfect amount, it looks beautiful. But the problem is, I don't know how to freaking mount this. And I lost this a little bit. Because it's supposed to grab onto something, and I don't know what that something is if I don't have it, you know? And there's like nothing that's in the box that really makes any sense when it comes to how to mount it. You got this guy, but that still doesn't make any sense. Then you got this guy, which is a different thing. And got some standoff screws, but I don't know how that works when the mounts don't. Like what? Maybe I shouldn't do that. Here. Okay, so I got all these. And that's supposed to go up this way. And connect them like this. You put this up here. What? Oh yeah, it kind of feels like that sometimes. So, like I said, I don't know how this mounts to that. All right, after looking into e almost every single box I have, found the bracket that I need. That was original. Can you stop eating things, dude? Okay, so this was back here like that. And I need to somehow reverse install that. I guess I should show you, right? It goes in here like that. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm gonna show you from the reverse side, or the, this side, on what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. All right, so I'm sorry about the lighting, but take this, put this back here, have that go through, then you take these guys, and I think from the picture, and then put this on top, then you have these screws. Let's put this right here so I'm ready. And then let's put this, so that's screwing it in. Okay. Now I kind of have it held in place and I want to take the other screw and then screw it in. Okay, now, now you have those mounting brackets or whatever you want to call it. Now I can actually mount the cooler and because the cooler has like a design on it I really don't want it to be like upside down or sideways and it can't be sideways because so it either has to be right side up or upside down but I think they take this off let's kind of move these guys kind of out of the way okay now you take this and you want to take it like that okay and just kind of put it on, but I'm kind of scared, to be honest. I think part of me wants to move it, lay it on its side. Okay, so, I think this might be the better way of doing it. Let's first get this guy hooked in. And let's just... I put it down. Okay, it's on there. Kind of moved around a little much, a little too much, but it's on there. Now they're both on there. Let me get my screwdriver real quick. This, my heart is pounding, literally pounding, because I'm so nervous. I'm shaking kind of because I'm hungry too, but that ain't moving. That's good. That, ain't, that is not moving. Now that's in. <laughs> that's good. I can take these two, because I think, 
Okay, now I have to really look at uh, where these go. This guy definitely goes here. And I should have put the fans on first. But I'm kind of doing this uh, out of order and kind of the, the way I want to do it. So, <laughs> whoops. Um, now I think these go to the fans. And then that goes there and that goes in the back for power. All right, so this is what I did. Come around here, the uh, wire comes in here for the SATA power. I had to reroute it a little bit, so that's why it's ugly and hanging out like that. And now I have to put the fans on and then uh, figure out how I'm going to do all that. So I guess the first thing to do is I need to, there's a couple of fin uh, fins a little messed up there, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. I think it's going to be like this. I think that's kind of how I have to do it, right? Now, yes, I should have done the fans first. But I didn't. It's going to be like this, right? So the, under here is where the fans are going to go. Up here is where it mounts to the top. Yeah. I think I want to do it like that. Okay, let me look at these supplies. So I think this is how I should do it, right? Yeah, that's what it says to do. Now, it is recommended to do it like this, where the exhaust goes into the PC. Uh, if that makes any sense. And to me, I kind of see why, but then again, I kind of see why you shouldn't. And because these are so, I mean, they're not that close. They can breathe a little bit. Okay. All right, perfect. Now, we take this, and then we put it in. Obviously, it's gonna be a little, a little tight. And I should have just double checked to make sure that this fits here. There's a couple of things that uh, are a little, little too tight, but uh, I, think, I think that's all right. Let's just screw one of them, at least one of them just so it doesn't fall down. Okay. We need to screw another one because it's um, putting a lot of pressure on that last one. Now it's mounted. And then we got to take, I don't really think I need to take those anywhere. I kind of want to move this up higher, maybe just a little bit. I'll have to take the front panel off of that. But I never took this plastic off. Boom. Okay. Now these guys are kind of in the way, but yeah, I could have done that a little differently. And we'll just kind of shove it over here. I can't really do too much. Well, I can do something about it. Let's let's do something about it. I'm already here, and the battery's gonna die. All right, been doing some off-camera work since my camera died. Uh, I added some more stuff. I'll show you what it was. But it's kind of wonky back here. And I realized, reading the instructions on like the case and stuff, these are mounting points for uh, SSDs, uh, which I have one, which I think I either bought uh, or just kind of like made it fit down here in these um, regular hard drive trays, which works, but... I think I should probably remount it up here, uh, but that's not gonna be this time. I don't know if I wanna do it now or later, and I did put this glass back on, so it's gonna be harder to see. I added an extra fan, one of those really small fans. I don't think you can see it, it's right there. Right there, it's really small compared to the other ones. And that red, uh, white, and black wire heads over to a fan port, which actually, this fan should actually connect to there. This one should go down here. And then I think there is a, another one down here. Uh, so I'm gonna have to rework that, I don't know, some other time. There was a lot of dust actually in the, there's like a foam screen right here behind this metal one. That's pretty dusty too. And then uh, I did mount the uh, cooler. I don't know if you could see, can tell, but it's there. It's uh, right up there. But uh, yeah, I should have waited on the glass. But um, other than that, I did move this fan 
down here a little bit up higher just so it it uh, pulls more air um, kind of up towards this way so then the hot air from the CPU cooler goes down and then gets pushed and sucked out by this one. Um, I am going to have to get some more fans sometimes so I can have uh, a couple big ones or whatever. But other than that, this is the whole setup. Uh, I'm going to have to put it all away before we leave in about uh, 45 minutes. And I'm going to actually plug it in right now and see if it turns on, if it works, and if it cools. Alright, so I plugged everything back in. Uh, I, you can't really tell cause just because this is glass and it's reflected and this is reflected too. But I'm going to turn it on now and I'll let you know if the fans do turn. The small one does, that big one does, that one does, those do too, and it's lit up. I think you could see it. Um, so yeah, they should now be pulling in more air, which I do feel it. And, and uh, so far it's not too loud actually. It's fairly quiet. I'm pretty sure it's on the lowest setting possible. But that is pretty, that light is pretty. And I think I can actually make it to where the light, the CPU light that the cooler uh, tells me the temperature and then I can set the other one to random or off or whatever. So it's setting that up, that's fine. Let's open the monitor. Okay, that's ready to go. Um, right now it's at 49. 56 and quite honestly it might run just a little hot you know at the beginning but um i can still hear it like it is kind of loud a little bit i mean i added three fans right and then two of them are at the very top so the the red black and white wire looks disgusting in there but um so far it looks about the same kind of it looks a little I mean, the minimum is 35. Now let me bring you closer. Uh, right, right here. The minimum is 34. And right now it's sitting at 3640. High is 56. And this is no load, right? Uh, which is good. And uh, it looks fine. I mean, I don't know. I haven't really saw, but CPU... I think that's honestly the two fans. It's reading the two fans together. So that's probably why it's so fast. And then I think chassis one, this is the small fan I just added. These are the, the regular two fans. And I don't know what these mean right here. So <laughs> I don't know. Um, but if any of you guys like see what this is and really know and understand it and you can tell me what's wrong and why it's so freaking hot let me know please but yeah look at that that's kind of pretty it looks way better in person but uh yeah that's so yeah that that's probably gonna be it for today's video um I got to put a, put a bunch of stuff away in like 30 minutes um, so then we can leave to go to Costco to get some groceries. But other than that, uh, yeah, like I said, that'll be, that'll be it for today's video. If you liked it, be sure to smack the like button as hard as you can. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Help me a lot, and I will see you guys all next time. Brrr.